Hello, I'm Claudia from Harmate.es and today I want to talk to you about Nelio Content. It's a WordPress plugin that I use for my blog because it helps me a lot to automate my blog posts and save a lot of time. So what I found the most useful when planning my blog posts is to create first a list of ideas and then schedule some time, like one day on the week, to really uh, organize all these ideas and decide which blog post I will do every day. So to do it, what works the best for me is to use this plugin. I come here on my left menu and I select Nelio content and it appears this calendar view and I'm gonna do it live so you can see how I'm gonna plan this month. So I always post on Wednesday so for next Wednesday, I would come here and you will see that once I pass over it, it appears this symbol. So I'm going to add a post, okay, click, and it will pop up this window. And all I need to do is type here the title. So I recommend you to already have an idea of the SEO keywords you want to use and directly type them here. But in case you haven't done this research already, you just can type anything. What I like to do is to think well an SEO title like that. The Directly the plugin will create me the blog post automatically in WordPress and it will add these keywords on the URL so it's making double of the work but if you can't have the name decided yet there is always the chance to to change it or to modify it on the future so don't stress that much on this step. So the first blog post I want to create for this month it's one uh, showing you how to search images for your blog post and batch this process so that it doesn't take you a lot of time every time you need to post. So the SEO title could be something like save time save time uh, searching your blog post images. And again, if I want to change it, I can do it. So then here I have different kind of posts. So I can do it as a portfolio. I can do it as a post in each of the categories. And since this is not going to be on the portfolio, I need to select here which category it will be. And I can even change it later too. So it's just something about selecting. It's important that you select one of the posts once if it's for your blog because if not it will go directly under the other kind of post which can be portfolio can be uh, testimonials depending on your blog theme so i'm gonna go with uh, entrepreneur and freelance tips i'm gonna leave this as it is because the author is always me the day i already selected it and the time i can decide which one and what is going to happen is that automatically it's going to create this blog post on my wordpress with the title the seo url the date and it will schedule it for me so there will not be content but all this work will be done and all i will need to do later is when i have all the text written and, and all the images ready just open these again and just copy paste it there and it will all be set up you will see it now so let's say i want this time and i will just press here add new post it will create it and now it will appear here on the calendar so you see it here you see now if i click here i can view the post edit the post and modify these things and if i press edit it will directly go to the blog post so i can continue editing it so that's the next step once you have all the text ready you will go again to nelio content and from the calendar you will press the, the one you want to complete and you will directly edit it so as you can see what it has happened is that it's created the title automatically it has here the url i told you and you can edit it by pressing edit and modify it and it has scheduled it for this date at this time 
So all this work is already done, it's already on your WordPress and it's super comfortable to work like this. Now let me show you if we go back to the calendar view and let's say I will add another post here and I will say this it's gonna be this one we are recording now so it could be something like best way to organize and to organize and schedule your blog posts so I will again select here maybe this will be also we can put it in WordPress tips and I will select the author, the date, it's already selected because I pressed over the date and the time. So once I press add new post, it will create again here the next post. And you will see now if I want, for example, at the end, I will say, oh, no, I don't have time to, to write this one, but I have already this one done. So I will just drag it here down and it will automatically be added, it will change the date and everything on the blog post. And now I can move this one and the same it's going to happen. So now instead of being scheduled on the 11 of April, if we click and edit the post, you will see that it says here April 4. And we have again the title and the SEO URL. So I hope you find this useful. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any doubts, reply my emails, whatever you want and communicate with me because I always reply and I love helping you. So I hope you find this plugin a time saver and see you on the next tutorial. Bye.